everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be back and sitting here to film for you all. I hope you're having a fabulous start of the summer. I know I am as well. I started my summer off by going on a fun little trip to Nantucket and Newport, which was so amazing. I've always wanted to go there and I actually filmed an entire summer lookbook, which I already posted a couple days ago. So I would definitely recommend checking it out. While I was on my trip, there were so many fun and different stores that I walked into and I found a bunch of really cute things that I wanted to sit down and share with you all. I'm first going to start off by showing you the things that I picked up while I was in Nantucket and there was this adorable store called In the Pink and outside of it had a the cutest Lily Jeep that was parked outside and so I picked up two things from this store and it was all Lily Pulitzer super cute so the first thing I got was a new pair of shorts and they just released them the day that I was in that store and it was a pair of these scalloped shorts that are in the Tuscan Sun but what I love about these is that they're like neon pink so they're really fun for summer and I think that they will go with so many of my outfits and I just love how bright and happy they are. And then along with those shorts I picked up this navy top which is strapless with this cute little ruffle on the front and I think that this will not only go with the shorts that I picked up but just a bunch of different outfits in general and it's really light and airy so it's perfect for summer. The next place I went to was Jack Wells and this is a British shop which I thought was a little different and I fell in love with the store when I walked in. The decor was adorable and they had not only a Jack Wells Jeep but this really cute retro bike that was parked outside which I was absolutely obsessed with and everything inside was so different and fun and I just fell in love with all of the items inside the store so I picked up a few things and here's what I got. The first thing I picked up at Jack Wills was this adorable, it's sort of like an in-between of a sweater and a sweatshirt. It's super soft inside and it's just navy and white stripes and I love the JW on it. I think it just gives it a little extra and this is just perfect for like summer nights just to throw on or like boating or something like that. I don't know, I just thought it was cute but still my style. The next thing I found was actually on the clearance rack which I was a huge fan of and it is this adorable romper. It's this really pretty mint color with little navy flowers all over it and I love the sleeves because they're so delicate and light and the bottom sort of ruffles out so it's very ladylike and I'm just so excited to wear this for the summertime. And the last thing that I picked up from Jack Wills was this adorable bathing suit. The bottoms are navy and pink and they're high-waisted and they're stripes which I love high-waisted bathing suits. I just think they're so retro and different. And then the top is just navy with this really cute ruffle so it's super girly and I just thought that the two color schemes were adorable because obviously I love navy and pink together. The next store I went into was of course Vineyard Vines because the Vineyard Vines and Nantucket was adorable and it was huge and so it was to die for so the first thing I picked up was just a new yellow baseball hat because I really wanted one for the summertime and I just think this one is extra cute and the next thing I purchased from Vineyard Vines was this adorable gingham patchwork bathing suit and it has all different colors so it's super bright and happy and I just thought it was adorable. Nantucket, no doubt about it, has a very preppy style. The entire island is just so preppy and cute and there's Nantucket Red and so everywhere I looked there were these really cute spirit jerseys and I'm a huge fan of spirit jerseys so I just wanted and thought that these were really cute and I just got a white one and it has the navy Nantucket on the back. The last thing my sisters and I purchased while we were in Nantucket was a Peter Beaton hat and in my summer lookbook I sort of featured the store. It is a, an adorable site. The house is so cute. It is straight out of like a magazine and you go through this little path to get to the shop and I absolutely fell in love with the store and all the products in it and I just love spending time trying on different hats and I ended up getting this one. The hat box that it comes in is almost as fabulous as the hat itself. I love this hat box, it is so cute. The hat that I picked out is this one, it is so cute. It has a navy and white polka dot ribbon on the back, which I love because I feel like it goes with everything. And the thing that I love about this is when we were in the store, we tried on a bunch of different hats and saw what sizes fit us personally. And it's great because I can roll this up or I can roll it down or I can just leave it up in the back. So I feel like there's a couple different options. And you can even pick, you know, there was a whole bunch of ribbons that we got to pick from on our favorite colors and our patterns. So you definitely got to sort of shape your hat and make it your own, which I really loved. Another fun thing about this whole hat experience was I actually got to meet Peter Beaton and ask him a few questions about his business. And I filmed the whole thing, so I'm going to insert this clip right now so you all can watch it and hear a little bit more about the shop. Hi everyone, so today I'm here with Peter Beaton, who's the owner of Peter Beaton Hat Studio, and I'm just going to ask him a few questions about his adorable hats. So when did the company get started? So the company was originally named after my mom. It was my mom's company called Darcy Creech Hats. And about 20 years ago, 
she actually sold her name, sold her company, and we moved to Nantucket, and she used my first and middle name to start Peter Bean Hats. And we've been here for 20 years. What are some hat trends, or how do you think that when people wear these hats, are they classic, are they preppy, what would you say the style is? So here at Peter Bean, I would definitely say that our gimmick, so to speak, is kind of timelessness. Uh, we try to take you back to a world where classics are appreciated and celebrated. And our uh, slogan here at Peter Bean is because the world is your oyster. And so when you come in here, we really want to find a hat for you that's going to not steal the show, but bring out the best in yourself and make you feel confident and radiant and celebrate that classic New England lifestyle. Thank you so much, Peter, for answering a couple of our questions. It was so fun getting to know you and come to your adorable store. And I will have Peter's Instagram and website linked down below, so be sure to check out his products. And thank you so much. Thanks, Emily. My so pleasure. I hope you all enjoyed that little clip. I had a lot of fun getting to know Peter. And then I also still picked up one more thing while I was there. They have these really cute sailor shirts. And this one, which I fell in love with, was red and white stripes. And it has Peter Beaton on the sleeve in this orange with like a little whale. And it says Neotucket, so it's super authentic. And I just can't wait to wear it this summer. The next city we went to was Newport, and I love Newport. It's a teeny little city with tons of history, and it was so much fun just walking around. It's right near the water, and we did this beautiful harbor cruise, and we went on mansion tours, which it was in a clip in my summer lookbook, if you're wondering where that was. And the mansions were gorgeous. I absolutely fell in love. Everything inside of it was just so rich with culture and history, and it was amazing. So while we were there, I did do a little bit of shopping, so I'm just going to show you the things that I picked up while I was in Newport. So obviously Newport is right by the sea, so I thought it was the perfect place to pick up an adorable pair of Sperry Topsiders, and these are the dark brown ones, which I don't know, I just kind of thought they were different and a little bit retro more. So I can't wait to wear these in the summer, especially going boating, and I just thought they were so cute and they're so comfortable. The next place I went to in Newport was called Pink Pineapple, and it's sort of like a preppy Francesca's. It was really cute, and I just picked up this really cute hot pink and white romper. I thought it was so fun and girly and different and I especially love the collar on the romper. I feel like you don't really find that on rompers too much and it was reasonably priced and I've already worn it like twice so it's super cute. And then the last thing I bought from Pink Pineapple was just this really cute neon tassel necklace and the beads are super cute and I thought it was really fun and summery and tassels are really in. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have not already checked out my previous video which is my summer lookbook, I'll have it linked down below. That is just a little bit more footage and a little bit more in depth at um, my trip at Nantucket and Newport. And also a big thanks to Peter Beaton for letting me interview you and for your adorable hats. Everything was so cute. And also be sure to subscribe to my channel. And before I let you go, I just wanted to let you know that my new uploading schedule for videos will be every Saturday and Wednesday. So you'll be getting two videos from me each week. So be sure to check back on my channel on those days. And also be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you also enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will see you all in next week's video. Bye, everyone.